Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, in which we're playing as the Mojave Territories. If you're following directly from the last campaign, we were playing as Mojave Chapter, but now we're on the other side, led by General Lee Oliver, who dislikes the Legion. As a protege of the hero of the Mojave, Oliver has a great amount of political clout and prestige behind him, but his cautious tactics and reliance on heavy troopers leave something to be desired in the eyes of many company men for preparing the expedition. The NCR first marched east into the Mojave in 2271 when it destroyed the tribes surrounding Bull City. This is a story of greatness in the battle for Nipton. The Mojave's raiders and thugs resisted the Republic for too long, and Nipton was the site of one of the greatest battles. Marching from Baker When 38 NCR citizens were slaughtered by raiders outside the Mojave town of Needles, the NCR Congress was quick to call for action. Then President Tibbet was reluctant to commit troops to the area at a time when the NCR was already fighting costly wars in the north and west, but such an excuse was fell on deaf ears in the Senate. Tibbet lost a no-confidence vote soon thereafter and was replaced by Wendell Peterson, who soon ordered three battalions of NCR troops to invade and pacify the area. In 2274, following a scouting by detachments of NCR rangers and the discovery of the mostly intact Hoover Dam, the Mojave Expedition's mandate was vastly expanded to cover the entire area from Needles to New Vegas. Reinforced with fresh, uh, four, four fresh battalions and supported by two ranger divisions, General Oliver marched from Baker towards the Mojave Outpost in March of 2274 at the orders of the President to begin the pacification of the Mojave and shift the Mojave for decades to come. With Baker's a base, expedition is a solid foundation. Years of fighting in the southern Mojave had hardened them all. Ah, I like this one more. An actual city? That seems pretty good to me. Boop. Fiends, Mojave Raiders, Mojave Cons. Actually. Mojave Cons and Bitter Springs. That sounds kind of interesting to me. Ah, uh, but we have support from the Shady Sands. Our campaign is reliant on a steady flow of troops, equipment, and dollars from the government of Shady Sands. While Shady Sands isn't going to just abandon the campaign anytime soon, if we can't just if we can't produce results when the resources they sunk into the area, they may become less inclined to send fresh reinforcements. The Apples of Liberty, huh? Over 30 years have passed since the heroes of the NCR broke the Enclave forces at Navarro, and since then, mighty pioneers have poured north to tame the savage lamb. Under the guidance of the Brahmin barons and Gerard Lee. Our people have opened mines, scavenged towns, and built farms to feed a hungry republic, but not all are happy with the manifest destiny. So tribes unwilling to adopt the NCR's enlightened stance and guidance resist their efforts to civilize the frontier. She settlers from San Francisco refuse to recognize the authority of Redding's Rangers. And some whisper their brother still has agents there working against the republic. Don't tell if any of these foes could threaten our march of liberty. The bear shall trample all its foes. Pacification, not emancipation, which kind of sucks. The Mojave campaign is often dubbed the pacification of the Mojave, and we got that nickname for a reason. Our campaign is primarily militarily activated, or motivated. It is our mission to clear the Mojave of raiders, tribes, and other threats that are still opposed, that are still opposed to the Republic. Sure, if we can help the locals, that would be nice, but in this harsh way, someone must look out for the Republic first and foremost, the raiders of the Mojave. While the NCR rangers had scouted the Mojave West in the years before General Oliver's march from Baker, they did little more than provide an overview of key locations and factions to the General. Between the Mojave Outpost and the Hoover Dam, there were some total of zero friendly outposts, meaning that General Oliver had an uphill fight ahead of him, if he wanted to set up clear supply lines to and from the dam. The first major settlement for General Oliver to seek to pacify was Nipton. Once a small community, Nipton thrived under the Great War as a refuge town and refugee town and trader settlement. Specializing in drugs and prostitution, the town became a hub of the fiends and narcotics trade, with the health of these fiends garrisoned to boot. Naturally, it became the first military target for the Mojave expedition to contend with, and the tactics employed in the battle would influence later conflicts. Trooper searched every house to ensure the town was clear. Once the bulk of the fiends retreated, the town was safe. Ooh. Um. Yeah. Capturing the dam, the, t and the rangers tried to seize the dam in 2074, but we were forced to deal with house for now. Treat New Vegas. Signed in 2274 by the NCR in New Vegas after negotiations following the Republic's discovery of the mostly intact Hoover Dam, the treaty marks the first of many begrudging compromises the Republic has been forced to make with Mr. House in an attempt to prepare for the bull. While the NCR gained control of the dam through the treaty as well as any or as military access into and around New Vegas, they must send 5% of the dam's energy to the Strip and must not in any way prevent access to the Strip by NCR citizens of or off-duty troops. Powering the Mojave. When the NCR Rangers first got to the northern Mojave in 2273, they stumbled upon a hulking concrete barrier stretching across the mighty Colorado. Unlike many of the river blockages in California, 
This one wasn't caused by a crash plane or insane super mutant. This wall was created long before the Great War by America in her prime. Finally dubbed the Old World Wall by the Ranger team that found it, the wall turned out to be none other than the Great Hoover Dam, long presumed to have been reduced to ash in the Great War instead. The dam stood in front of them in its full glory and without a crack along its surface. To the shock of the engineers, the NCR scrambled, scrambled to take a look at it. The dam had been turned off over them, producing power from two turbines with a dull buzz. It truly was a marvel. The discovery of the Hoover Dam sent the NCR Congress into a frenzy. For decades, the NCR struggled to provide power for even its major cities, let alone the countryside. Now, with the discovery of Hoover Dam par partially functional, the path to providing reliable and sustainable power to all of California was clear. They could only get the other damn turbines working. Sure, they might have sent New Vegas 5% of the power they generated, but with some miscalculations, the power sent to Vegas was minimized. Now it's fair price bank piece. Whoa, with civility. Dealing with Capitol Hill. Unlocks the war is not an independent phenomenon interaction system allowing us to manage our relationship with the government in shady sands. The government's attitude towards our ply will begin as receptive, and the NCR's people's attitude towards the Mojave campaign will uh, begin supportive. Call for aid sparingly, however. The government expects results from tax dollars they have invested in the expedition, and the people expect an easy conflict. Destroy a second turbine. The second of 17 turbines inside Hoover Dam will come online, increasing power output somewhat. Coming storm. Uh, what's this one? We've heard of the new tribe to the east, under a scarlet banner. They worship a man called Kaisar, and we fear he, he will come for the Mojave, but how tough could a bunch of tribals be? Surveyor enemy. Print political pressure. Well, I guess the next one we'll do is dealing with Capitol Hill. Most of the NCR is behind our expedition, but Senator Allgood and others question this as a pointless waste of lives and resources. We need to manage our home front carefully. Followers spreading. This is pretty normal. Operation Sunburst, so we're ahead of where we need to be, but, well, we need to be, well, we're okay for now. So basically, the faster we go to war, the better. And NCR CF convict labor. Ooh. With the establishment of the NCR correctional facility within the Mojave, inmates that would normally either be shot or locked up by locals can be sent to perform hard labor, such as clearing rail lines or construction. When we first came to the Mojave, we discovered a chapter of the Brother to Steel carrying out technologi technologi yeah, technology raids across the wastelands. They were far from home and led by a somewhat fanatical and unpredictable chapter leader, Elijah. In the early days of our campaign, we clashed with them on numerous occasions, but both sides knew the Mojave chapter had neither the manpower nor the equipment to contest or control of the Moha majority of the Mojave. Instead, the Brotherhood took up residence on the site of Helios 1, a pre-war solar array filled to the brim with the kind of ancient technology the Brotherhood obsesses over. Unstable status quo that settled in the Mojave can't last uh, forever, even if both sides would lose from a prolonged conflict. However, under political pressure from Shady Sands, we begin military preparations for Operation Sunburst, a large-scale assault on Helios-1 with the intent of securing it for the Republic and wiping their Brotherhood from the Mojave. Noticing our preparations, the Brotherhood has been started preparing too for the inevitable conflict. The balance of power between two nations can be seen from the preparation. The more preparation we have over the Brotherhood, the more effective our troops will be. The relatively small scale of the operation means every bit of preparation matters. We can either ability to perform requisition raids must be priority. We need to get to know them better, first of all. Our only option is to destroy them mark preparations. So, if you want to do this, please go ahead. 406 days, that's not good for us. Lower resistance, I'm not going to lower resistance. Bring you 20 four days forward. You pretty much have to do that. Uh, this one's okay. If you want to read this one too, please go right ahead. I've read this many times before. So we'll close out of that one for now. Don't need this one too. Also, we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, Old World Blues te uh, Generic Decisions Revamped, Old World Blues Tech Expansion. Is that it? That might be it. Followers of the Apocalypse. I don't mind increasing our political power because we could use that, definitely. So. Ten to the long 15. Two trained and equipped divisions of Mojave troopers will arrive in Baker, having recently been raised in the Boneyard. As this deployment was agreed months ago, it will not affect Shady Sands' attitude towards the campaign. Guns from back home. Now that we've patched up the most glaring issues with Long 15 and we've the troops to properly defend it, we've been petitioning Shady Sands for weapons shipments. Unlocks the petition for weapons shipment decisions part of our wars, not an independent phenomenon interactions. First weapon shipments already earmarked for arsenals will arrive. 600 units of NCR equipment is added to the national stockpile. More preparation. Um, I'd rather have another arms workshop if possible. 
Form the First Recon Battalion. Chief Hanlon has long impressed important some marksmanship on the Ranger Corps, but until now, the idea of a dedicated sharpshooter battalion has never gained real traction. In the face of rough trade in the Mojave, however, it makes much more sense. Stand to the Long 15. If we're going to leave our supply lines undefended, we must revitalize the pre war road and make sure we're not, never cut off. Deploy fresh divisions. New California has over 700,000 soldiers or citizens. Let's plenty to subdue the Mojave with. The Great Khan stack Camp McCarran. The Great Khan is a tribal group that has resided in the Mojave Waste for years after being expelled from California. Has been a thorn in our side. Since our arrival in the Mojave, we've been in constant clashes with our forces whenever our forces are garrisoned. Their warrior culture is incredibly strong and they make good warriors as a result, causing his dearly in skirmishes. Over recent days, however, their attacks have increased in the frequency. Today, this came to head when an entire Khan warband launched an assault on Camp McCarran. The attack left. A bloody toll on both sides with their troopers, being forced to abandon much of the courtyard and retreat into the main terminal. It was only thanks to Rangers hastily redeployed from the dam that the Khan advance into the camp was halted. Sensing their momentum had run out, the Khans made a quick retreat, taking a significant number of supplies in the process. It seems the Khans have become a real issue. This must not happen again. Oh, we lose weekly manpower. Holy crap. That's pretty bad. That's actually really, really freaking bad. Supply fresh divisions, guns from back home. Local production in Mojave is woefully lacking, so the discrepancy must be made up by importing supplies from the Republic. Throw the second turbine. Whoever dam is damaged, but repairable. Our chief engineer, Mike Lawson, is confident that with time we'll be able to bring more online with time and proper investment. Chaos in the Navarro territories. Well, that sucks. That's here. Diamonds of California is being challenged. Pretty normal. Um, what do we have down here? Inside scoop. Corrupt mayor. OSI director. Ignacio Rivas. A friendly doctor. It's not terrible either. What do we have here? Quartermaster, head engineer, outpost organizer, uh, warden? Hmm. Raul Tejada. Tejada. Outpost organizer wouldn't be bad. Oh, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna go to always oh, grab uh, Golden Gecko. We like entertainment. And yeah, we definitely need guns. I'll pass by the area even more. We're still at the same place. It's not bad for now. That'll be very good. So, ah, uh, Mojave Tetris. I remember playing this when it first came out years ago. Oh, hello. These guys are not bad with uh, armor on them. So these guys will be okay over here. You gotta help hold the line over to this side, maybe. Carbon was annexed. Good. Senator Murphy criticized Mojave Expedition. To, uh, to hear Murphy tell, our boys at the front are shooting refugees who drink from Cat Mead, torture prisoners for information, and addicted to an endless supply of jet gambling and pornography. That bleeding heart liberal's words are demoralizing our army. So I hate the followers. Oh, whoops, maybe I shouldn't have had vitamin, but whatever. We get more science points, anyways. Alright, where are we at? The battles we fight in the Mojave reverberated on the NCR. The government of Shady Sands has invested countless dollars in our military might and have also had the, led the population to believe a Mojave campaign will be cheap, quick, and painless. None of the campaign is anything but, but these things. We must not let this go on, however. We, if we don't get anywhere enough support from the NCR proper as it is, and you can imagine the uproar will begin suffering significant casualties. The government is currently receptive. Paying the people are currently supportive. Outsource research to the NCR. The Mojave Campaigns, expeditions, uh, is primarily primarily military. We have men, guns, explosives, and knives of easy access, and are able to fight at a moment's notice. However, our research capabilities are lacking. Strangely enough, the Mojave is not the ideal place to set up new research centers or study the intricacies of nuclear power. We can draw the extensive research capabilities of the NCR to make up for our own uh, lack, but nothing ever comes for free. Petition for divisions. We can do a little recruitment amongst local populations, but due to their sparsity and the resistance to our campaign, instead we're more or less reliant on reinforcements from territories within the NCR to sustain us. Strangely enough, people don't like being drafted up for the Mojave campaign. We need to try to not press for this too much. The amount of manpower received is proportional to the NCR's maximum manpower. 
If they expand the station and provide more maps similarly, should be losing territory, we'll be able to get significantly less from them. And for equipment. The Mojave is desolate and ruined. Little capability for massive weapon production exists outside the major settlements, such as Nipton or the walls of New Vegas. The gunrunners may be able to sustain our needs for the most part, but when we're trying to raise new divisions for the NCR stockpiles, may be handy though. It's not bad to ask for now. All right, military theorists. It's not bad, military theorists. Augustine Perry. All right, hear me out. Deep battles with robots. Perry's proven himself time and time again have a ridiculous knowledge base of pre-war history stretching back centuries. Utilizing this, we can gain more progress in troop training and capability. Huh. Corporal Sterling. Well, we're gonna go with you anyways, whatever. First recon, huh? Twenty combo with? I like that. Protect Route 95. Route 95 is inherently, currently our only reliable road to transport supplies through the Mojave to the Hoover Dam and Boulder City. Should it fall to the Brotherhood, these forces in the north will be cut off. We must not let this happen. Pretty normal. Pretty straightforward. We're going to need to get equipment right now. Survey our enemy. We must not go blindly into a conflict with the Mojave Brotherhood. It is only through careful observations and calculations that we can determine where and when. I'll just strike the enemy the hardest. We must expand our observation post so the brother can be crushed once and for all. Scavenger program would be nice. Help the settlements out. And I would like to improve country management as well. Secure the West. Good Springs and the road it sits on, stretching from the Mojave outpost to New Vegas, has vital to trade and military deployments in the region. We're the sure it is adequately f funded, unless the brothers strike us where it hurts. Good. So you're gonna be a later of infantry. Be your life giver first, it's fine. And you are a ferocious, ferocious loyalty. Army training, more stability, uh, putting knowledge to work. The followers have long been the forefront of the NCR's education system, but it's time for a change. The Republic needs to put its knowledge to work to make the world a better place. No longer will progress depend on handouts or charity, no longer shall society equal a uh, hue to a thousand different goals. At Hayes urging, Campbell and Congress have passed the California Restoration Act to form the Office of Science and Industry, an agency dedicated towards scientific advancement. With proper funding, the Republic will continue to walk forward to, into a better future. To a proactive thought, or practive thought. Promote Major Moore. Major Cassandra Moore was a ranger from a young age, serving the Republic loyalists and fought off raiders across California, surviving four tours during the Brotherhood and Sierra conflict. Unfortunately, earlier this year, Moore suffered a serious injury while garrisoned in the Mojave, meaning she can no longer fight on the front. However, she still possesses a sharp mind and knack for battle tactics. Would be wise to make her commander. Um, promoted to Colonel, he serves as unit leader immediately. Begins level 3 commander, favoring strength and determination of cutting and diplomacy. Survey your enemy first. Ooh, those arms workshop would be nice. Divert our planning focus. A local call to arms. Oh. Appoint military staff. We'll do all that stuff in a little bit, but uh, tools to melt steel. It's no secret the power armor possesses a great threat to our troopers. Most men possess far from the capabilities to pierce the layers of thick servo driven armor and kill all the paladins underneath. We must deploy some of the weapons we found in Navarro so that at least a fraction of our divisions are able to effectively battle the Brotherhood Steel Knights. Strength in numbers. We possess the key advantage over the Brotherhood numbers. Even if we lose eight men to their one, we'll still be able to wipe them out through numbers alone. We'll see. Not even a political power day. Gosh darn it. Um, we're still doing okay though. Guardians and whatnot. We will have to be ready for the Legion War though. 30 days, eh? Oof. It's a long time. <laughs> I'm so used to not long times. I can't imagine going back to 60 or even 70 day focuses. Campbell removed from office. Oh. Oh boy. Future looks bright. Oh, great. All good Murphy's here. Uh.
make our final preparations. Inevitable assault on the brother is drawing ever closer, so we must begin to make our final plans. Appoint military staff. We must ensure military is built on solid foundations before a launch assault on Helios 1. Without adequate leadership, we'll be able to prepare to face him down. I want Cassandra more, too. Um, this is our territory preparedness. Yeah. Oh darn it, we already have these ones done. That sucks. Woodworking, so it's almost the next year. I'm going to do this one. It's fine. That's okay. Yay. Cultural advisor, corrupt mayor. I like the more political power. It hurts stability though. Ha! Huh, you know they went for that deal. I sold by a little gym anyway. Big Jim Rip. A leader for the local community of Nipton. Mayor Stein is a typical example of a mayor in the wasteland. Greedy, just clever enough to seize luck when the opportunity presents itself. And seemingly only cares for this town in terms of monetary output. However, its ability to hustle and make caps provides extremely useful, since the territory's populace prefers that currency over dollars. Screw it. I want more political power. Point military staff. Good. Final preparations and then preempt political pressure. The NCR Congress has been putting intense pressure on us for months to launch a decisive assault against the Mojave Brotherhood. We should launch our assault before the pressure reaches ahead and come and take the bro Brotherhood down. I'll take a by surprise. Yeah, it's not looking good. Do we have enough guns yet? No. Just using my manpower. Oh, only 200. Oh, that's not good enough. Oh, I'll push in some percent. Look at that. They do have quite a few divisions, though. But we will see. Alright, what do we have here up here? Recon Commander, Salt the Earth, Well Oiled Machine, Calm Leader. You don't have to go with this one. Infantry's not bad. I want these enforcers eventually. Organization's pretty good. Oh, I like to Brown get loose in the strip. Our soldiers were meant to spend time in New, in New Vegas. Or when they want to. We're not going to deny them that, but we're going to make sure that in terms of war fighting ability, the strip doesn't break them. M Marie Papas will make sure of that. Even more organization? Colonel Tsu is beloved by the men as a workhorse without comparing the top brass. Tsu knows how to manage supply lines, root out spies, make sure the men know they are understood and cared for. A great boon of morale. This is not bad, we don't really need that one too much. Iron Wall. Power Armor Organization, Chief Ranger. Special Forces. Ooh. I want to go with uh, you. We get more attack immediately, more organization, and we're going to become a leader as well. Tons of more organization now as well. So 80 is pretty good. That's not bad. Also take over Patrick Chico. Very nice. Um, let's keep boosting up our special forces side. The US one's gonna be tough to break into. Is there anywhere easy? There's four divisions. There's even more divisions here. I'm um, how many more days do we have left? Three, darn it. So we should be at war. Political pressure. Operation Sunburst, early this morning, the Mojave Expedition NCR launched an offensive against the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. Codename Operation Sunburst, this offensive comes after months of preparation by both sides. Despite enjoying numerical superiority, the Mojave Expedition is outmatched in training and technology by the Brotherhood, meaning the fight may be closer than either side would like. Whatever the outcome, the future of the Mojave was sculpted by the result. The Brotherhood is a threat to the peace and democracy. So we'll look at that, more division, attack, and defense. So when I played as a chapter, it was great. It was actually really easy, for the most part. Um, 30% more, that's actually kind of extreme. Can we actually win at Helios 1? Oh my god, yeah. Holy crap. Let them, uh, move the soldiers around a little bit. Honestly, first recon, I'd rather... Oh, we can't convert them? God dang it. What are we doing here? We can't even convert these guys over. Christopher Rice, security power there, huh? 
all but you go here. Hop out. Nice, look at that. Boop. Okay, this is ridiculously easy. 30% more attack. I mean, that's freaking broken as crap. But it's not the devs' fault. It's the uh, AI's fault. Towards pacification, we're still going to store the second turbine burst. Mm, exploiting Mojave's riches. Mm. Towards pacification, our attempt to pacify the area around the Mojave will take us decades. I guess we must make a start. Not bad. Uh, well, you know what? Just go in, I guess. First in defense, huh? That was really, really easy. I was expecting a much tougher fight. Well, that's the case. All right. And you guys are there. You guys are there. There. From the heavy core. An encouraging victory, huh? Our defeat of the stuck up brother bastard in, the, in, in Mojave has been a great booster standing amongst the NCR's people. And the government of Shady Sands, needless to say, we can exploit this victory for four more, far more supplies. Petition for the Militarization Act. While massive military expansion is not techni techni technically beyond our remit, the Mojave outpost is still technically within the NCR. We should petition the NCR Congress for the Militarization Act, allowing us to bulk up military industry there. Sure, why not? Looking pretty good. Yay. Any more infantry equipment? No, we're okay. Support equipment's okay, too. How much manpower do we have? Eh, we wouldn't get very much. We're doing alright. Not bad. Not, sure. not bad at all. Um, we can divert our planning focus. We need to divert a large chunk of our planning efforts to the upcoming war. Maybe, maybe we lose some ground in the struggle against the Raiders, but so be it. Yeah, no. The local call to arms. Only with the cooperation of the locals will we be able to win the struggle against the Brotherhood. We should issue a patriotic call to arms. So uh, Camp Forlorn Hope. Uh, the Camp For the Forlorn Hope Springs are a strategically vital source of clean water in the Mojave, situated on the plateauing top of a small hill. By establishing a small military outpost, we can secure water source and protect a portion of Route 95. Reinforce Camp Searchlight. Oh, definitely. Shortly after the Battle for Nipton, we established Camp Searchlight in the crossroads town bearing the same name. Not only does the camp give us a vantage point over Nipton and Novak, but it also allows us to keep an eye on the Colorado Sur East. Expanding the camp will help ensure we can hold on to the region against any who may threaten us. Exploiting the Mojave's riches. Although mostly desert plains, the Mojave does possess treasures if you know where to look. Clear the I-40. While our campaign is primarily focused on the northern Mojave and New Vegas, must be sure not to forget about the southern Mojave that lays between Baker and Needles. Much like the long 15 that leads from Baker to New Vegas, the F-40 remains largely clogged by the rocks of pre-war cars and trucks. With some work, we will be able to clear most of the congestion from the route, making travel to Needle significantly easier. Good. Press pacification, so this part's done. Yay! Encouraging victory. Our defeat of the stuck-up brother bastards has been great. The bull's growing bellows. The legion swells like a cancer across the east. We must be ready. Form the heavy core. With the basic understanding of power armor we possess, we may be able to strip down the power armor recovered from Operation Sunburst. And train our men to use it. Heavily armored assets will be invaluable against any primitive foe. 
First Division of the CR Heavy Corps will be called off from duty in Baker. Comprised of stripped power armor units recovered from Brotherhood Knights. Using tools left behind. It may seem that the Brotherhood was tinkering about inside Helios 1. Presumably to restore its capacity as a power generating solar array. Our track clearly caught them in the middle of their ambition. As a result, there's a number of pre-war tools inside the complex. Our engineers at the Hoover Dam would surely appreciate it if we sent them this, this way. Hello. They want to help fight the divide? What would we gain from that? No. We're here trying to get ready for the next war, guys. Come on. Lessons from war. Whilst we were ultimately successful in our war against the Mojave Brothers, sparked by Operation Sunburst, it has taught us some much needed lessons about our military tactics. We must adapt if we are to survive and assemble the Mojave Defense Committee. The Mojave, where its populations and strategic centers at, last, at least, now lie almost completely under our grasp. We need to concern ourselves with keeping it that way. Enemies lie all around us, and there's some division within our rank about how we should best prepare for future battles. The Fiend's Resurgence. It looks like those weirdos across the Colorado River slipped weapons to the Fiends. Who are harassing our convoys again? I am so, so sick of patrolling the Mojave. And it almost makes me wish for a nuclear winter. Oh, great. How great is that? More resistance. Yeah, just, just lovely. No longer increasing our power, no manpower. And we've got the bulls growing bellows, of course, like we read earlier. The Legion swells like a cancer across the east. We must be ready. Yes, we must. We must very much be ready. Um, and then we'll continue with, uh, you know what, we'll do this one. Assemble the Mojave Defense Committee, like we read earlier. Mm, there we go. 125 political power. It's not bad. Stability and war support we've raised up a little bit, which is not too bad either. The government is currently open, and they're fervently supporting our campaign. Do we need any more equipment? Oh, I guess we could use a little more equipment overall. Uh, how much money do we have right now? we got crowd control gear. Um, so let's go here. We'll do it one more time, at least. 272 is not great, not bad. Um, I don't mind even just buying more equipment, too, here. Nice and cheap. We could do that one. Don't need this one right now. Don't need this one. Science. I mean, we'd like to do that, but it is what it is for now. Uh, we don't need industry. Expand army training. Yeah, all that good stuff. But crowd control gear is very nice. Um, better pioneer kits. Yeah, let's get those. Better special forces kits. Very good stuff. That'd be nice to have. Barrage balloons. Don't really need that, but that's all right. That's fine. All right. Very cool. Hello, uh, I guess the NCR is at war with uh, the Rapids. Now, what would we really gain from going to war? Less stability. Defending the Mojave. While the Mojave chapter may be defeated, and we seem to be temporarily safe from foreign threats, a sense of unease still settles over the Mojave Defense Committee. Formed of the most talented military minds, the Mojave campaign has to offer. It offers advice for overall strategy to General Oliver, who has final say on all matters military decisions within the Mojave. The committee's always quietly grumbled about Oliver overriding many of their recommendations in favor of bold, flashing, prestigious offensives, but they're all loyal to the Republic and respect its chain of command. Following orders and disagreeing with them are very different things, however, in over recent months, Ranger Chief Hanlon has begun to voice his discontent at Oliver's tactics, arguing a more cautious approach would save lives, a view which is echoed by others on the committee. The two will surely have disagreements going forward, especially as war approaches once more. We need to keep an eye on this dispute. In the Mojave Defense Committee decision category, allowing interaction in the debate over strategy that occurs between Oliver and Hanlon within the committee. It focuses one lock relevant strategic questions for the committee to consider. And the Old World Wall. The Old World Wall, the Hoover Dam. For centuries has stood as a testament to the American engineering prowess. That's produced power for close to a dozen generations of American families, however. It possesses a, a critical flaw. It's appallingly indefensible. While so the original designers could be excused for not anticipating a battle fought on its concrete, the short sightedness has become something of an issue for the defense committee. Decisions, of course, are needed. Political power. And where is that up here? Is that up here? So, uh, General Oliver currently has moderate at least more support than Chief Hanlon. Whilst General Oliver is without a doubt an intelligent military mind, the Mojave campaign is, is a del delicate operation requiring input from and the coordination of multiple sen senior military figures. Whilst the debate and the plethora of options, the Defense Committee pioneers are highly valuable to the campaign. There's some worry the committee is brought or has become increasingly fraught with division. Particularly prominent is a bickering over strategy between General Oliver and Ranger Chief Henlin, both of whom present co often contrasting plans to the committee. March on Bitter Springs. For years, the tribal raiders who call themselves the Great Cons have plagued our territory. Based to the east of Vegas, their camp is known as Bitter Springs. They think of themselves safe from repercussion. It's time to put an end to their taunt and foolery. The time has come to deal with them. We take our soldiers a few days and march to the outskirts of New Vegas to launch a raid on Bitter Springs. We'll receive word when they commence their attack. Oh boy. And we'll probably get slaughtered, huh? Battle for Bitter Springs field report. 
At 1500 hours, 10th of March 2277, our forces, notably the first recon unit, tracked a large number of cons to Bitter Springs. Upon arrival of what we believed to be the cons base of operations, we proceeded to ascend. A detachment of troops to advance into Bitter Springs while the first recon scout snipers prevented them from escaping by the other exit. The whole situation was a mess. The major in charge at the time made a bad call. He thought Bitter Springs was full of great con raiders, so he surrounded the place. By the time any of us realized that there were civilians down there, women and children, the shooting had already started. The major froze up at the news and we couldn't get another word out of him. End of log. We'll blame this on bad communications. Yeah, there, there you go. I think we now saw some, some stability. Guys, come on. They're just civilians. What do you want? Lessons from war. We read this one earlier too. Boop. 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 Old World Wall. Hey! Oh, first heavy re recon or first heavy division. Oh, you actually have powered fire teams. That's interesting. Special forces integration, good. Uh, we need manpower, so we definitely want to use those. Um, we'll do that too for now. How much do you get from immediate draft? Weekly war support. You lose a little bit. 360 is not terrible. We're already on two year conscription. We need definitely four year conscription as well. Uh, we want this person, Major Stein. Uh. Julie Farkas, maybe someone we could use too. Resistance activity chance. Compassionate scientist. That wouldn't be actually bad. Real resistance. Not bad too. Uh, Jim Su, Papas, Perry. Academic advisors, quartermaster. Resource efficiency gain. I don't mind getting maybe a little bit more caps, because right now we're kind of lacking. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or courier. Currently based in Mojave Outpost, Stevie and I is one of the sea and speak almost. To everyone who passes through, military and civilian, a good, honest first impression can go a long way in our relationships. How about so a little bit? Because we need a big, a bigger military, anyways. Esmeralda falls silent. Oh boy. Nice. If you want to do this, please go ahead. The Rogue Rangers. Veteran Ranger. Ooh. Free Law Keeper Division from Corin. Plus one. That's unique. I'm mustering across the dam. For some time, we had knowledge of some great power in the harsh wastelands east of the Colorado River. From traders arriving from Utah and Arizona, we even gleamed the area that appears to be dominated by some bat crazy neo Roman cultists who swear loyalty to the Khazar and crucify those that oppose them. However, we have for a while thought little of them. They appear to have a few major cities to their name, mostly to disregard modern technology in favor of more primitive melee equipment. Just another raid of end, it seemed. It appears recent events have forced us to reconsider that evaluation, however. Over the last few months, we've been spotting more and more scouts glad in similar armor appearing and disappearing. Last week, a division made with camp within view of our patrols. Today, a company arrived with more seemingly on their way. Why are they here? There's only one thing worth taking in the area of the Hoover Dam. We must prepare defenses urgently. Alert all of our units to prepare to defend the dam. Coming storm. A great conflict is coming. The Mo from the Mojave Defense Committee to the lowest NCR troopers, everyone knows that a mighty foe lies across the Colorado. Our campaigns, or camps across Colorado, have already clashed with this foe multiple times. It's only a matter of time before they are assaulted in force. Their objective will be, without doubt, the Hoover Dam. What better way to please a warlord than capturing one of the greatest man-made structures in America for him? We've long known the conflict will come to the Hoover Dam, but not the direction we've come from. Now we can start making a concrete plan for the defense of the dam from the Legion's hordes, and the Mojave Defense Committee is brimming with ideas on how to fight them off effectively. The two, strong, two strongest voices, General Oliver and Chief Hanlon, have rallied supporters around their two contrasting ideas. General Oliver advocates for total defense of the Hoover Dam, fortifying it significantly and funneling the Legion's overwhelming numbers into a narrow area. Chief Hanlon, meanwhile, believes the dam to be poorly defensible at best. Instead, he believes the real fight will be over Boulder City, where the Legion can be tricked into an explosive trap. Both the duos have their strengths and weaknesses, but only one can be approved by the committee. The dam must hold. Strength in unit's defense in a border war for Hoover Dam. Chief Hanlon will take some precautions away. Fortify Boulder City. Uh, victory of the dam, huh? So which way do we really want to go in the end? Declare a state of emergency. Because we are on a historical, so we'll see. Gone for not, for not forgotten. Because to go this route, the power of the struggle during the NCR Civil War is concluded. Frontier democracy. You can re take over the NCR if you need to. Sometime, wait and see. Um, better power armor, but I don't think you, you still have generic middle tier power armor. T forty five D is not bad, actually, really. A new dawn. Two for all, and all for two. 
I don't know which way I went last time. I might have, might have gone this way, maybe? Did he go with Hanlon? Mojave Standoff. Josh Hanlon. Hard X by the number. NCR is really hard. No, the head forgets. You can join the NCR, whoever it is leading them. New Vegas issue. Either you die a hero for honorable service. Wow. An indignity. Black Mountain Radio Radar Station. Radio Station. The decor on it, which is nice. That's not bad. Follower of Field Hospitals. That's pretty good. Talented doctors. The Legion will come. The good fight. That's pretty good, too. Against all tyrants. Defense of the Mojave. Less division attack, more defense. I like that one, too. But what about the middle? You get more cores here, too. And a research slot. California waits completed focus from many one does not exist. The Forgotten Hero. Face public face of the PMG. Provisional state of Mojave. Bossa Nova Baby. Leave the NCR. City by the night. Help the kings against him. Oh, sophisticated electronics and construction. Last tower. Oliver's mistakes. Get a lot more cores, which I do like. Voltaire. You get sophisticated Oh oh Voltaire. Vol Volar. What if I try to go in between? Is that how you get them? So, because I do have six divisions here. They're not super well equipped, but they're 20 combo width. Um, I might just go with this first. You come here first. Uh, you got power armor here. You can come here. It's fine. How many days left do we have with this one? Even more guns? How many guns do we need? We're actually good on guns. 292. You know what I mind spending a little more political power for this one? Weekly war support goes down? How do we get more war support? Peace of a war, no. Weekly stability goes down. Propaganda. Stability goes down more weekly war support though. 15 army XP. I don't want to do it. There's a little bit of stability. So we need to raise our stability next too. So we'll do a lot of that stuff there. Um, yeah. Let's come back up here. Sing campaign. Nipped and deal. I like the civvies. Um, Garrison Prim. Well, I guess Garrison Prim. We're pre-war mini Vegas. Prim has experienced something of a resurgence following NCR occupation of the Mojave. A key trading town on the route to New Vegas. Prim is a strategic location well worth defending. Indeed, should nip and fall, it could become a vital rallying point. Alright, so we got that going on. Um, oh. We'll go with that one. That's about equal, equal support. That's good to know. Are we clear one of them? Oh, that's yours stacking up here now. Alright, so let's see what happens. We're going to save real quick. Battle of Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam. Stretching across the mighty Colorado has become the battleground between two vast forces today. On orders directly from Kaisar, the Malpais look at himself as leading a mass force of legionaries and tribal auxiliaries in an attempt to seize the so-called Old World Wall from the hands of the, new, from the NCR, who fell it since the 2074 Treaty of New Vegas. The Legion, aided by superior numbers and fierce obedience orders, seemed to have the upper hand in the clash, but will need to carry out any momentum the gains from breaking through it at the dam to secure it from counterattack. If they should succeed, the Mojave and the Lights of Vegas will lay open for Kaiser to grab. Should they fail, the Mopai Slega may find himself in a difficult spot, and the NCR will retain their hold on the Mojave for a while longer. The savages will be repelled for the Republic. I don't know, at first we were losing here, I'm like, oh god. That's why I threw in the Hanlon's Ranger, Rangers as well. Um, commanding Officer. Oh well. Level 4 already. Melee Hacker. Hmm. Equipment Capture Ratio. I guess it'd be a lot of favor, I guess. You're gonna learn anyway, so that's fine. I mean, we should be able to hold here. Our guys are pretty well dug in, the twin combo width. They're not perfect by any means of the imagination, but. They do have a couple things on them. Calling up the second draft. Family diplomacy. Hmm. 
Neptune deal. Neptune was largely untouched by the bombs of the Great War. As a result, a lively community still thrives in and around it. For one, too far large for us to control through the martial law alone. If we were to make a deal with Neptune's mayor, granting some autonomy in exchange for loyalty, we gain compliance in the region. Old world wall holds. Legion cannot even cross Colorado. How do they expect to reach Shady Sands but they can't even take this well-fortified entrenched position with a clear field of fire? Ha! Huh. A mighty foe defeated for now. We've been successful in fitting out the assault by Khazar's Legion on the dam and Boulder City. It wasn't pretty, but it was more down to luck than we'd like to admit, but it's victory. Where's Boulder City? I thought it was kind of a go. Uh, Nelson Ranger Station. Searchlight. Ah, there we go. The old world wall holds. As it should. Cheers are up to today across the Republic as news broke that the Legion has been repelled in a spectacular fashion from the Hoover Dam. For days, NCR troopers and Rangers bravely fought and battled on the cold concrete surface of a gigantic structure locked in an ever changing conflict with the enemy more vicious, loyal, and organized than we have ever faced before. The battle is closer than any of us would have liked, in part thanks to the legged commander that opposed us. Regardless, through defensive forethought and more sophisticated weaponry and tactics, we were able to win the day. We certainly did a blow to the Legion, but few in the Mojave have a doubt that they'll be back again, in some form or another. We must keep an eye out east. Nip and deal. Because who needed stability, right? Peace over war. I guess we'll form consumer goods then. And prioritize civ civilian technology. Good. One more defense is good, too. And we definitely need radios. Beep. Go down to two. We gotta produce more. March on Bitter Springs. Yeah, vacuum tube's good. Radio, yeah. Second campaign. In some ways, two battles need to be fought over the Mojave. First is to occupy the land. Second is to win it. We may, de facto, have the Mojave under our ownership, but we are far from controlling the swaths of it. The committee's divided on how to best combat this. Absolutely. I just gotta be ready. I gotta look over here to see if we are actually gonna get good war or not. So you never know. Six divisions isn't very much. And they're gonna be pile driving a ton of soldiers into here, so. We got successor. Second campaign. Yeah. So infantry wise, not bad. Riders are pretty good too. Power armor's nice, but that one's not very good. NCR. Oh. Well, can I edit this one? Oh, whoops. Well, maybe I shouldn't have deleted that template then. Oh, well. I'm not really planning on using uh, power armor really in this campaign. Motorize, it's alright. NCR Rangers, I mean, it's not bad. We got that over there, too. Um, demo equipment, I would like demo equipment. I would like fire teams as well. At least demo equipment for now. We don't have enough. Oh, that's for you guys. My bad. Not for troopers. Yeah, they already have demo equipment, that's good, which is good. Do we have? Yeah, makeshift saws. Are we not making them? Oh, we're not making them. We should probably make them. We got a infantry commit. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Let's buy some more. There we go. God, I want to core stuff really badly. Not having cores really sucks. Good to see that Anis is still alive, I guess. Mojave campaign, huh? Defeating the Legion of the Dam was but the first step, despite the defeat. We're faced with an unending guerrilla war and raids across the mighty Colorado, but at least this costs the Legion as much as us. War never changes. We'll go away once the war breaks out. God dang it. Revisiting the Treaty of New Vegas. While the Treaty of New Vegas has pledged 95% of the Hoover Dam's energy to the NCR, as well as military access for NCR troopers to most of New Vegas, the Treaty was a begrudging compromise with the nation that NCR would much rather just annex in its entirety. Sadly, the years of peace have only increased Mr. House's strength, and while the NCR continues to flounder in the Mojave. If we are to one day rule the Mojave, we must have a plan. Conquest, bitter aftermath. The force of the Mojave expedition, led by General Oliver and spearheaded by Chief Hanlon's Rangers, has held most strategic points across the Mojave for months now. After the defeat of the Mojave chapter and signing off the Treaty of New Vegas, the signing of it, the expedition faces no organized military opposition. However, as the NCR's war-weary troopers are just discovering, beating the Brotherhood and occupying a handful of settlements was the easy part of the campaign. Despite some bold initiatives, Oliver's Mojave expedition has been more or less unable to actually pacify the Mojave. Organized military opposition may be eliminated, but supplies are too, far too sparse to heavily garrison settlements, and other groups more freely and rapidly across the Mojave move there every day. To cap off the bleak picture is the ever-growing threat posed by Kaiser and his legion on the far side of the Colorado, drawing even more on the expedition's stretched resources. With the list of objectives vast, the Mojave Defense Committee has been assembled to deliberate 
over the question of the second campaign. On the one side, Jonah Oliver advocated for continuation of current policy, offering limited garrisons to settlements where necessary, but prioritizing local autonomy to save manpower. She family, meanwhile, seeks a more radical policy of withdrawing the bulk of the expedition forces to a series of hard points, Hoover Dam, Camp McCarran, and a variety of smaller camps, leaving settlements to their own devices. There's low appetite for Hanlon's strategy back home, but considering the expedition's mandate is pacification, not emancipation, there's a good case to be made for his tactics. The debate will rage late into the night. In the last part of the settlements, we will perish. Simply don't have the manpower to spare. What about Chief Hanlon's for now? Help settlements? Sure. Expand our training as well. It is what it is. I kind of just want to go to war, so if it can take this area out, so we have at least some areas we can core eventually. What if we were to do that? How much would it take to do it? That eight. Not even one a day. Ugh. Is this a core of ours? It is. Oh, okay. So. Well, I don't think we'll be able to get it done, but we'll see. Uh -huh. We first ventured in the Mojave. New Vegas lit up the bright sky. Mr. House and his robots, eager to meet us, ventured forth from the walls of our city to the camps, to the camps on Hoover Dam, telling tales of the Golden City, the Jewel of the Mojave. While House's secure drones seemed fierce, they were few in number, and the House's only other allies were ragged groups of tribes that become the families of New Vegas. It seemed, should, the expedition want to. New Vegas could be relatively easily conquered. Certainly at no more of a cost than Operation Sunburst, the order to conquer New Vegas was never came, however, instead. The Treaty of New Vegas was signed, guaranteeing New Vegas independence and 5% of Hoover Dam's power output. It should have made some sense. Space of the Mojave Brotherhood, raider groups, and the growing legion threat, the NCR simply could not afford another powerful enemy. The circumstances now change ever so slightly. No longer is the Mojave Brotherhood much of a threat, and the immediate threat imposed by raider groups has been reduced, strengthening our position somewhat. Moreover, fresh divisions have joined the expedition. There is an argument in the Mojave Defense Committee, championed by General Oliver, to continue our military buildup and by constituents to dwarf House's power, dissuading him from ever attacking. Chief Hanlon instead argues that we should look for allies amongst the families of New Vegas, possibly even leading back to a pro-NCR coup in the city. Bringing New Vegas into the fold will be a huge victory, uh, but also risks making enemies of a powerful foe. Your political workhorse is pretty good. Hmm. Might already less support. Numerical advantage can dissuade any attack. Equivalent support. We're gonna keep it balanced the best we can for now. Lessons from war. March on Bitter Springs. For years of trouble, raiders who call themselves the great cons have plagued the territory. Based in the east of Vegas, in the camp known as Bitter Springs, they think themselves safe from repercussions. It's time to put an end to the foolery. It will take some our soldiers a few days to march through the outskirts of New Vegas to launch a raid on Bitter Springs. We'll receive word when they commence their attack. So from there, if we can like core, uh, even like some of this, that would still be nice to have some sort of core here. And we can get Area 51, Coyote Springs, and then open up everything else north of us and get to the Rogue Rangers eventually to get to the Guardian Citadel. So we can get actually a, a trade node besides New Vegas being down here. Disaster with Camp Searchlight. Oh great. Generally Oliver, it appears that the Legion has sneaked into Camp Searchlight and unsealed nuclear waste casks. Our men and women have been ghoulified in the chaos. Aurelius has landed at Cottonwood Cove and begun raiding surviving troops. Oh crap. Welcome to Camp Searchlight, the crappiest place on Earth. Oh great. I'm going to petition for more divisions. Eventually we want to do more increase more political power, actually army training, da da da. Oh, yeah. Long 15, huh? God dang it. So much of a disaster this is going to be for us. And lessons from war. Whilst we were ultimately successful in our war against Mojave Brother, sparked by Operation Sunburst, it was taught us some much needed lessons about our military tactics. We must adapt to where to survive. Supply and demand. The Mojave is vast and desolate. To properly control, we require a number of military bases crisscrossing the region, each requiring constant supply and reinforcement. Most may have about enough supplies to keep our current outposts ticking over. If we were to expand our outposts, construct new ones to suffer enemy espionage, we may be unable to provide enough supplies to all of our bases. Well, we'll do that one next, I guess. So 
little ahead of time. So we got all that ones done. Now we got all that stuff done, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's ahead of time. It's all ahead of time. Ahead of time. Let's focus more on industry for now, I guess. We're definitely going to need on these guys of uh, those LMGs. Even the Spec Ops. Well, we're going to need LMGs and whatnot. Recon. Oh, we can't even edit this division? Oh, are you kidding me? That's fine. I want to be able to edit some of these divisions at least. Yeah. Looks about right. Let's play in the Mojave. The Mojave was far from the hospitable terrain before the Great War. After its great swaths of Mojave become scorching radiation filled deserts. Movements of troops of and civilians is difficult and largely restricted to two major routes, trade routes, Route 95 and I-15. Even more difficult is the movement of supplies. Caravans are slow and bulky, and often to navigate as off established trade routes to reach outposts and garrisons in strategic rather than convenient locations. While we had enough supplies to support the establishment and expansion of recurrent outposts, any future efforts to expand upon resupply or establish bases will require the investment of supply. We can gain supply through concerted efforts to do in our focus street. Or the negotiating for from the NCR that can be used for various projects able later on in the focus tree. Additionally, one tenth of our supplies added to our attack and defense. Huh. Compromises may need to be made. Lots of supply and demand. Use the state of supplies, embark, and get more. We'll have a defense committee. We'll have a conflict. Operations. It's political power. I don't see any some more supplies things, but okay. More equipment. More research speed. We could use a little more equipment, maybe. Emergency committee. Death and debris. Involved New Vegas. Now, if you wanted this one, please go ahead. Divide and conquer. We could do that one, but we didn't choose that one, so. Call up the second draft. Right or advantage, Mr. House thinks he may possess in secure trons. The NCR more than makes it up from good quality. Fighting men and women. We should call for second draft citizens from the NCR, and with any luck, some of them may be deployed to help us. The Mojave Troopers or Robin Baker. For having been recently raised from ready. Receive some reinforcements from the form of manpower. That'd be nice. Yay. I've been working on the railroad. Building a railway from Shady Sands to New Vegas has long been a great dream of General Oliver's. Not only would it be a propaganda victory, but it also offer the extremely quick redeployment of troops to New Vegas and Hoover Dam from the NCR's heartland. Uh, <clears throat> the first part of the line, running from Baker alongside the Long 15, is relatively easy to construct due to the strong control over the area. Running a line through the Mojave, meanwhile, may be a bit more of an issue. The knowledge just provides can be utilized by using the Intel Ledger of New Vegas, which can be found by clicking right on the nation. Hello. What are you doing, NCR? Who are you war with? Four ways? Nah, we're good. We don't need any less stability right now. Hey. Do any count with? Very good. Just in case. Boop, 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 boop. First supply. Vengeful heart to Mojave supply lines. Appointed Ambassador Crocker. Following ambassadors at its retirement earlier this year after a role as ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary, well, plenipotentiary of the NCR Embassy in New Vegas, we need to find a suitable replacement. Under political pressure from Shady Sands, it seems we have only one potential candidate, Dennis Crocker. Isn't that the guy from the Fairly Odd Parents? A career politician, Crocker led Kimball's successful campaign to sit on the NCR Council, at least he seems a bit to be a competent diplomat and awkward. To be confused. Bane's now in power, they'll launch a coup with our support should that we fight New Vegas. If he's in power, we can come to some sort of arrangement. All good Murphy luck to President of the NCR. Oh boy. Bear is growing much kinder, huh? Please don't guarantee. Well, you know what? You can guarantee these guys. Oh, hello. Let's get ready to go to war then. Well, I don't want to move the divisions away from Hoover Dam at the very least. I gotta redo these guys later, anyways. 
Mm. They're pushing the North Passage. That might be easier to take. Kind of sucks, but it's alright. We'll do it for now. Good. Time for more supply, and there you go. Um, not if we don't want to do this one right now. Group country management, that's fine too. We're gonna save to see how badly this goes. And whatnot. Well, let's see. They attack us. I have a feeling they're going to continually attack us, so. That wouldn't be too bad, I guess. Of course, we read this one earlier, too, which is great. A great debate. For months following the Battle of Hooper Dam, the Mojave Defense Committee has endlessly debated our strategy. Praise land on both Oliver and Hanlon's heads, but so has extensive criticism. This could tell that the committee is coming to a head, and only one of the two influential characters can lead the expedition forward. What if we don't lead forward? The power struggle during the NCR Civil War is concluded. Oh, Julie Farkas is a current one. I well, we might choose somebody, maybe. I don't know. An offer. We can make a proposal for Penny to work with us if the price is right. Surely not staff him back in, and end his days on a Legion Cross. If he's not in power, launch a coup with their support. Should we fight? If he's in power, we can come to some sort of agreement. We can refuse. Penny doesn't strike us as a reliable partner. Perhaps we'll reach out to others and instead keep it business. More than two at the table. Work on Benny to help him understand that the Republic is a place for upstanding businessmen, while well, the Legion will probably crucify him for a hilarious montage at some point. Repairing the next turbine would be bad. Ooh, that would be good to get to just in case. And to get two arms workshops. I like that a lot, actually. We can refuse and then deploy the military police. The NCO's reputation is perpetually tarnished by rowdy, drunk, and generally disobedient NCO troopers spending all their wages on the New Vegas Strip. Well, we can do a little to restrict the NCO troopers from spending their money on hookers and drugs. Yay! We can at least police those who get too unruly. Besides, the military police are those... Are the only units on the strip allowed to carry firearms, so if Mr. Ross gets a little too uppity, there's more than two at the table. Seems we have underestimated the strength of New Vegas. Should we not be careful, we could find ourselves at war with a third party over Hoover Dam. Our troops are barely enough to hold out the NCR as it is. Huh. And we cannot hold against a combined Vegas Legion assault. However, we should begin planning for one. And Hoover Dam Ford operating, operating base. Hoover Dam is a primary strategic objective of the Mojave. It must be defended as such. By converting some of the visitor centers into a military planning base, we can more effectively control any battle that breaks up for the dam. Ah, who am I kidding? We can more effectively control the battle that will break out for the dam. Marriage of diplomacy, the NCR against the world, Californian resistance. Okay, boomers. Want to play detector? All right. Eh, power armor. That's not bad. Make Vegas see sense. Act now, or hold, forever hold our peace. Glass of Dover dams left his jar. We don't know how long we'll be able to hold on to the Mojave, but we need to assume the answer may not be forever. We need to hurry up and extract resources from the area before it's too late, and the first supply shipment. Live along the newly constructed line from Baker to the Mojave Outpost. Our first shipment of supplies from Shady Sands should keep us ticking over on supplies. Nice, but we're going to end it there. Ooh, we get volunteers? Oh, heck yeah, and we get some... Oh, yeah, that's nice. So. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. Oopsie. Uh, as we'll continue to see what we can do with Mojave Territories. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.